Welcome back to the course, uh, Properties of AB Materials. We are in lecture five again. The size of AB materials are important to a lot of physical agricultural processes. And we are now into the uh, property of physical property of uh, shape. Uh, so there are no exact uh, methods to describe agricultural materials in terms of shape. The shapes of fruit, vegetables, and grains are compared according to their uh, longitudinal uh, dimensions and cross-sections, and at times uh, compared to charted forms, as we shall know in this uh, lecture. Due to the variability in agricultural materials and the subjective uh, judgment of the observer, uh, the visual comparison is prone to error despite somewhat uh, being easy and simple to do. More objective uh, approaches are required with the aspect of uh, or the aspect ratio around this sphericity and packing coefficient. Material shape is often indicated by roundness and sphericity. Uh, while the use of sphericity is typical of most uh, grains, uh, the roundness is particular to some fruit and vegetables. The roundness measures the sharpness of the corners of a solid. Equation one is used to um, do just that. We have here the projected area of the object in natural rest. No forces applied on the object. And then divided by the uh, area of the circumscribing circle. So figure one, you can see the uh, circular area circumscribing the largest projected area of the object. Another version of the round this equation taking into consideration the uh, radii of all curvatures of the projected area of the object. And this is divided by the uh, radius of the inscribed circuit. So equation two sums up the radii of the uh, curvatures, all available curvatures of the object, and divided by the product of the total number of the curvatures multiplied by the radius of the uh, inscribed circuit. So before it was its it was circumscribed, now it's inscribed. So this time the circuit is inside the object. Figure two should uh, show the schematic of this uh, formula. Most AB materials are neither round nor spherical, and particle size depends on the shape. Thus, sphericity is used to determine how spherical is an object. And we have the general formula for sphericity. We have P sub I over D sub C or the diameter of the uh, of a sphere whose volume is identical to the uh, object. And the DC is the diameter of the sphere circumscribing that object. E uh, equation three can be modified to uh, consider the triaxial ellipsoid that we've been talking about previously. And for an axial, a triaxial ellipsoid, which, has, which means it has three diameters, is related by the ratio of the volume of the object to the volume of the sphere with the diameter d, uh, d max. Okay, so d of that uh, sphere is equal to the d max, or the maximum diameter of the triaxial uh, ellipsoid. And so we have here the modification of this uh, equation. We have the v sub e over v sub c, or the cube root of the ratio, which typically should give the uh, diameters. So you have the v sub e volume of the triaxial ellipsoid with the diameters. Okay, we have already shown them last time the D minimum, the in D intermediate, and the D max. Uh, equation 
of the sphericity using these volumes will simplify to the equation four as shown. So D, the, the, the cube root of the D mean D multiplied by the D intermediate by the D uh, max all over D, uh, D max. And why is this so? Um, it's the simplification simply of the equation earlier. So in the case of the triaxial ellipsoid, uh, it is the ratio of the mean geometrical distance, or distance, sorry, diameter, to the longest diameter, okay? Another variation of sphericity is for irregular objects. So for irregularly shaped objects, an, an equivalent diameter D sub E is used in place of the D sub I. And to get the DE, there are the requirements of the mass or weight of the object and the density or volumetric weight of the object. Uh, the mass is divided by the density, the weight is divided by the volumetric weight. In the next lecture, we discuss the common uh, shape descriptions of some AB materials, so generic common descriptions, uh, shapes, uh, in particular for grains, fruit, and vegetables. We will also look into the uh, packing coefficient.